Hi, I'm Devon Satute, a uh, UF Journalism Senior, and I'll be discussing today uh, the Tinker v. Des Moines um, U.S. Supreme Court case. Uh, so the case is Tinker v. Des Moines Independent Community School District. Um, it was decided in 1969. Um, what happened uh, is that uh, in the December of 1965, uh, three students, uh, John F. Tinker, Christopher Eckhart, and Mary Beth Tinker, were part of a group of students and uh, adults who met um, and decided that they would protest the Vietnam War and show their um, um, wanting for a truce uh, for the war by wearing black armbands um, during the holidays. Uh, a group of principals in Des Moines, Iowa uh, heard about this plan and decided to initiate a policy uh, where any any person, any student wearing the armband would be suspended and removed from school. So Tinker, Edcart, and Mary Beth uh, all, wear, all wore their armbands to school and were suspended and kept home uh, through the holidays, uh, which was the length of the protest. Uh, protesting was to be done. So the parents, specifically the fathers of the three students, um, sued the U.S. District Court uh, for the Southern District of Iowa, uh, but the District Court dismissed uh, their case. So it was then appealed to the Court of Appeals uh, for the Eighth uh, for the Eighth Circuit, and the Eighth Circuit, uh, firstly, was um, equally divided on the decision, but they ultimately uh, confirmed the District Court's decision. Um, so then the petitioners. Uh, appealed again to the Supreme Court. So once the Supreme Court got a hold of it, um, in their opinion, they basically uh, were seeing two issues. The first issue was, does free speech under the U.S. Constitution's First Amendment uh, extend to students? Um, do students lose their First Amendment rights uh, when they go to school or uh, attend public school? The second issue um, was, can their freedom of speech be prohibited in public schools. So in a 7-2 majority vote, um, the Supreme Court decided that students do not lose their, uh, uh, their right to free speech and their right to the First Amendment um, when they're on school grounds or school property or enter the schoolhouse gate, as the Supreme Court said. Uh, they listed uh, many cases um, where, this just, where this is seen I think one of the most important being West Virginia v. Barnett, um, where it was decided that the First Amendment um, protects students that don't want to salute the flag, uh, that students cannot be compelled um, to salute to the American flag. Uh, they also cited um, Meyer v. Nebraska, where it was uh, said that it cannot be prohibited uh, foreign teaching can't be foreign language teaching can't be prohibited in schools. Um, to the second point of can uh, free speech be prohibited um, because the Supreme Court already said that students are given free speech. They they said that um, the only way where free speech for students and teachers can be uh, taken away is if there is materially and uh, if it will materially and substantially interfere the operation of the school. So if their action of free speech will so much disrupt uh, the school environment, then it can be condemned or stopped by school officials. So basically, um, their final decision changed the law uh, to say that all student, public school students and teachers are protected under the First Amendment, and uh, the only way that it can be uh, taken away from them or be prohibited is if it materially and substantially interferes from school uh, from school operations. It's the only way that um, that free speech can be taken away or, or uh, uh, from students. Thank you. This was Tinker v. Des Moines.